Growing up, I always thought the indomitable zero, carrier-based or land-based, all with wheels. So when I met the roof, which is a naval version, of course I had to get the kit. And here we have the Walk A6 M2N roof. As you can see, it's a 2008 kit, the 12th in line, I think. And it is, of course, 133 scale. You look at the model, lovely artwork. And as you can see, it's high sheen, high quality print that has been made. Yes, you're really liking it. Standalone, I think. I think the author apparently is Lucas Fuzek, hopefully. The instructions, including the technical detail, it's in Polish. But I don't mind because the details here is very good. The details will be enough for us to complete the build. Section 1, 2, 3, you see the cockpit detail. You see the gun throw-off, the cockpit seat, the rudder pedals. It's pretty well thought out. The instrument panel. So when you're building this kit up, it should not be a problem. The instruction details, the diagrams are very, very good. Here we can see how the panels go together. You see especially the canopy detail. Very lovely, very nice touch. The float of course, which is a central part of this. You can see how the framework is. It's really nice. Ah, look at this. The coloring, not bad. I am not 100% sure, you can let me know in the comments if that's an actual tone for it. But so far it's nice and very interesting. This looks like a carrier for the float aircraft. Very nice detail, a little extra to the kit. Looks like this is printed on a 150 gram sheet. It's really thick. And here we have the wing panel. Notice that's where the float would go. I like the cockpit canopy detail. This looks like the underside inside of the cowling. The small float, you see the complicated buildup for it. I like the fact that you can cut the aileron out and make it a little more complicated. And that's the underside of the float. The spinner, the prop blade. You notice the inside is painted dark. The outside is a carry that warning danger red tip. Nice. The color seems accurate for the internal metal protection. Look at that. The internal instrument panel. Look at the details here. It's pretty nice. Hope you can see that. Lovely. So that's the instrument panel, how it's built up multi-layered. Really, really good. And here we have the framework for the floats, the fuselage bulkhead, the floor for the cockpit. Here's a swatch just in case. And the internal framework for the canopy which is totally separate from the outside one. Framework for the fuselage. Nice. Again, that looks like 150 sheet. Gram, that is, the thickness. And here we have the main wing spar. And that would have gone on a one millimeter thick cardstock. External areas that would hold the aileron and flaps. Here we have the float, main float framework. Lovely, lovely setup. Look at this beauty. Now you are seeing the fin and the rudder. Here we have red 112 or 119. Engine detail. It's pretty nice. Look at this. You see the quality of the print. Again, for 2008, it's not too bad. 
this is a cowling here this is a main float that's a main float strut that's what hold it on to the fuselage here we have now the engine cowling so that's outside that is the fuselage front we have the wing fairing those look like the shell ejectors for the machine gun bays underneath here the main float really lovely artwork and bear in mind again I say this is 2008 so you're looking at something closer to 15 almost going 20 years soon here is a glass layout so the plastic cards will be cut and formed for the canopy and the instrument panel and you should be good some more instructions on the detail you can see the cockpit detail that's my love building up a really good looking cockpit here we have the flaps you see the front where now that was what would hold the engine and then you have the engine detail it's really a decent looking model in the future when i do armored fist card models i'd look at that but this overall is a nice kit from walk the naval zero like how it looks like the float i think that's what make it stand out and it's a kit I would want to build soon in the future. So until then, my friends, take care, walk good, one love.